Good evening. Good evening. We, we had tonight a significant meeting with uh, President Aliyev and Prime Minister Nicole Pashinyan. It was the occasion to have a, a frank and open uh, dialogue on the current situation in the, in the region. The EU is committed. Uh, we want to play a positive, a useful role for more stability, for more security, for more prosperity in this, uh, in this uh, region. We also want to support the humanitarian gestures that are needed also in order to, to strengthen uh, confidence building measures uh, uh, on, on both sides. Uh, we are also ready uh, to support all the positive efforts uh, together with other actors. We have always supported uh, the Minsk group uh, and we support all the efforts uh, that, are, that are made uh, in order to make progress for more stability, more security. Uh, together, uh, we have demonstrated uh, that direct talks are useful and are needed, even on difficult topics. Of course, there are difficult questions, there are difficult topics, but the, the first step, the first condition, uh, if we want to make progress, uh, is certainly to have the occasion to listen to each other, to understand very well what are the different opinions, what are the different views, to clarify sometimes the different arguments. Uh, I sincerely hope and I'm convinced that me this meeting was extremely useful and I'm confident that it will be possible uh, in the short term, in the mid term, to maintain uh, this level of direct contact between uh, those countries. But also, uh, I would like to reiterate uh, the readiness and the commitment of the EU uh, to play his role, to play his part together with uh, other partners uh, because we have a clear vision, we have clear goals. We hope it will be possible to have more stability, more prosperity and more security in the region. And finally, we'll have tomorrow this Eastern Partnership Summit. Uh, we intend to propose a huge financial package of investment and we hope that it could be also a leverage uh, in order to enhance the cooperation among the, the countries of this region. Any corridors, any real steps of connectivity? Were there any unblocking? You know that the last months I, I, I spoke on a very regular basis with both leaders by phone, but also I decided to travel uh, to Yerevan and to, and to Baku. I had a uh, one-to-one -one meeting with the, with the leaders. And I, I, I understand, I know that the connectivity, the communication, this is a priority. And of course, it's important to make sure that there is a level of trust, uh, that we clarify what are the different uh, positions. But to be very clear, on the railways, for example, an agreement was made tonight because uh, this was very clear that they have a, a common understanding uh, on uh, what is uh, needed in order to, to reopen uh, those communication lines. On the highways, this is also an important topic. Uh, we have together, we have identified what are the questions that uh, we, we need to work on uh, in the short term, in the mid term, in order to make progress. And I'm confident. Uh, I'm really confident because even if some questions are difficult, this is not a secret, I'm confident because I think that this very long meeting, four hours and a an half, it was a very good occasion uh, in order to make sure that there is a, a, a mutual understanding. It doesn't mean that we agree on everything, but it means that there is a, a common political will to make the effort you know, to have a better understanding and to see how we can uh, strengthen uh, the level of cooperation and also how we can try to address uh, the different challenges we are facing. The meeting started with the tension because uh, President Ali have talked about the Zangezur corridor comparing with the Lachin one. Was this topic brought in talks this and one, what was the... This is always important to speak directly. Uh, because uh, if, uh, if uh, we uh, take into account uh, the statements that are made to the press, of course it's important, this is uh, the rhetoric, but it's very important to speak directly. And I'm convinced that uh, the added value of such a meeting in person uh, is, uh, is, uh, is huge. Uh, this, is, uh, this is big and I am convinced uh, after uh, the, the, the meeting in person in Sochi, for example, uh, this meeting today, I'm convinced uh, we'll give the, the occasion in the near future to have other direct contacts uh, between both leaders, which is very useful. And you know that a few weeks ago, we succeeded, being very humble, to play a positive role in order to make possible a direct line at the level of the Ministers of Defense uh, in order to try to prevent possible incidents. 
or to manage uh, incidents if uh, there would be some uh, difficulties and in order to avoid uh, further escalation. Uh, and those direct contacts uh, at the level of the leaders, this is very important, uh, I think, in order to maximize uh, the chance for uh, more stability and more security. In Azerbaijani press, there is a circulation about the news that you left both leaders alone for a moment. What, was it true? This is and true, indeed. The, was it intentionally uh, yeah. from your part? Yeah, this is true because I, I, I thought it was important uh, for me to help, to, 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 to support, to, to, to encourage. But it's also, it was also very important for them to have this occasion to speak, uh, uh, to speak directly. Agreement on sort of mutual customs checks, for example, because that's one of the things that was mentioned. For the, for, for the question of the, the, the railways, there is an agreement on the principle of reciprocity with uh, uh, borders and uh, customs control. This for the railway, and we discuss in depth the topic high, highways and, and the question of those infrastructures that are needed in order to improve the connectivity. Uh, and I understand that we we have they have clarified the topics uh, that we need to work on in the next uh, weeks and, and months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.